Hills, brothers and sisters, this is Holy George from Abysmal and Antichrist Magazine. So, what's the deal? I want to talk to you guys about a demo by a Swiss band named Death Cult. Now, this demo came out in 2012, as I just said, but it has been reissued on CD. Plus, uh, it includes a bonus track through the uh, graciousness of Invictus Productions from Ireland. Now, the big deal with Death Cult is that uh, the dude from Balser is on it and he sings and everything else. Now, Death Cult really is completely different than Balser. Uh, make no mistake. I mean, you might find a subtle, you know, link here and there. Um, and uh, that will come to you clearly because once you listen to the uh, reissue of the 2012 demo, you're gonna hear uh, a spoken word passage during one of the songs. There you will know. Oh, this is the guy from fucking Bulls for singing here. Otherwise, if you would have never known, it may have been. Well, he sounds like the guy from Bulls, or he's copying him. <laughs> well, you know what? It's only a human response, right? So the deal here is that the uh, while the band hasn't done anything in about two years, they're certainly not disbanded. Uh, following the release of the uh, 12th uh, demo, they went on to uh, do an EP for UK based label Mesaka Onoho, and on that one, they do uh, apparently another great job. Although this one came out on vinyl, not just in tape, uh, like it did with the original version of the demo. So I'll be on the lookout for this Pleading for Death, uh, so on and so on uh, EP. Now, what can I tell you? I, I mean, the they sound dirty. They're a dirty sounding death metal. Um, not so much, like I was saying, like like they could be a, a, a sweet type band back in the 90s. No, I, I think that they, they don't rely on so much distortion. But they definitely have a little bit to help them achieve that, that sickness they got going on with their music. Um, these guys... Um, they they dwell in a time period, man. That that it's frozen for for me. You know, you listen to this, and they're in between analog and digital. Uh, the four guys, an European band by all means, and the 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 work on this demo is just fantastic. I'm telling you, you're gonna listen to stuff that, like, wow, man. I wish I would have known this three years ago or two years ago or whatever, because I. <laughs> would have definitely bought that and two t-shirts right on the spot if I would have seen these guys somewhere so now I have to find out where in the fuck the t-shirts are and where in the fuck that 2014 EP is at so it's gonna keep me busy for a couple of weeks hopefully or less um what else guys I mean normally I expound a lot more and I'll probably give you more ideas but the fact is this is nothing but a dirty sounding death metal uh, demo this is great it does have a lot of influence from Swedish death metal and you will hear those once you get there um what else I mean I'm in awe that's what I can tell you something like this I haven't heard to be just as good as the necrophobic demo that came out like in 1990 or some shit like that to me personally that is what comes to mind it's from the unholy prophecies demo not produced by thomas uh, scorsberg but god damn what quality that's what i'm talking about it's the same intense feeling that i get so if you want to have this feeling um check it out just Listen to the 2012 demo by Death Cult. Listen by that old demo by Necrophobic from like 1990 or 91. And even though both bands are different, you're going to feel this intensity that they both can give you. It's hard to put on words, but I think it's a good analogy uh, in the way that I have suggested it for you. So go check it out. So um, just to close it off, we have a re release of Death Cult from Switzerland. Uh, 2012 demo containing five songs one intro which is an instrumental really it's just a good two and a half a minute long song plus four other tracks locking in about 23 minutes so it is worth your time to check this out uh, do yourself the favor basically that's that's all that's all I gotta say about that so 
go ahead and, and uh, go have fun with this one. I certainly do. I've been playing it in my car for the last week nonstop. So until next time, this is Holy George from Abysmal. And you'll take it easy, stay heavy, and by all means, fuck Jesus. I'm out of here.